Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So uh, it's been a while since I made videos because I just moved to a new place and uh, you guys would have seen my uh, new desk setup and uh, yeah, so this is the first video in this place. So you'll be seeing me in this setup uh, after this. Yeah, I just wanted to show and talk to you guys about this new kind of a AI tool which got released recently. It's uh, really useful in VFX and uh, all those kind of different applications. It's basically a AI relighting tool and it's called Switch Light from this company called Beeble.ai. Developed this new AI tool which kind of uses AI and other stuff to actually generate different passes for 2D footage. It generates different passes. It gives us the uh, PBR materials and the specular albedo and all those things which we actually generally kept it for cg elements you know and we can use those different passes to actually relight our footage so i'll show you guys that and that's what we're gonna see in this video so let's go so this is their website it's called switchlight.beeble.ai and uh, studio uh, open beta is now live we can you can actually download this for free and but basically they have to there uh they're like package first thing is copyright oh so this is something new which i haven't seen before but uh this is uh, basically copy and paste the lighting of any portrait images and create your own stunning visual we can also download this on the app store uh for mobiles and they also have an api uh which you can use it for plugins and other uh for other like softwares the pricing is uh pretty low now it says 12.99 a month so these are like their online tools which you can use it directly from the browser i have i also like downloaded another tool which uh which is actually for windows so i'll go ahead and open that switch light studio this is like a desktop app uh, which you can download for windows uh, I, i'll put the link in the description if you want to try this out there's a new version has been downloaded okay let's restart it and uh as you can see 0.64 so it's still in beta they haven't released like the first version yet it's doing some configuration here but i'll just show you guys what all is here uh before that you know if you want to use like a kind of an hdr or if you have a virtual environment let's say you made an environment in unreal engine you can actually create an hdr from that and it's gonna automatically relight but yeah it's still initializing i'll also show you like other stuff so this is like an overall set uh like an interface which you can use like multiple things inside this they also have like other tools inside them so this is called the uh, material extraction so basically how this works is uh, it scans the footage and uh, it gives this uh, kind of like different passes so you can actually use these passes uh, later and you can download these passes separately and you can also use them inside view and you can use like other plugins to like relay so this is light map extraction so you have a source footage and you have a target so extracting light of specific shots in EXR and then use the extracted light map to relight other images. That is um, something new. I didn't, I didn't see this in the previous version. But yeah, they also have like a background removal tool. And then they also have a plugin for Unreal Engine and Blender. If you use Blender or Unreal Engine, you can download this and uh, use it. They also have uh, another uh, thing called SL Cam Track. This is like a tracking software. So if you use your uh, iPhone to like shoot something, you use as a gyroscope and record all the three axes and how the camera moves in 3d space so you can directly use that uh, camera somewhere else. so i think that's what that is but we'll see that in a different video i just wanted to show you guys this whole relighting thing in this so let's get started with this so we have this uh, hdr right i don't know it's a concert stage or something like a theater i took a sample shot from i mean one of the practice footage shots from uh, uh, action vfx uh, their website but uh, yeah if you haven't checked them out uh, they have lots of uh, practice footage to do lots of different types of vfx stuff on their footage it's completely free you can download i'll put the link in the description we have certain settings here so uh this is the setting um this is basically uh if you create like a look uh, with like a specific hdr and specific kind of a thing you can save that as a setting and then you can use that setting later for another shot too you know let's say you want a specific look and you created a specific look you can load that and you know that just loads up everything so that is uh, this is for that and uh, in the source we can select whether we want a mp4 or mov or anything like that so i actually created uh, you know this footage so i can show the footage here 
so this is the footage I actually want to use uh, for this uh, I, and what I did was I used their uh, background removal tool to actually just extract this from the green screen it took me like around like 30 seconds to do that uh, but yeah I already did that and uh, I saved it as a PNG sequence so I'm gonna click that now so I have it uh, I have the BG removal here so and uh, if you didn't do that uh, it actually gives the option here so you know if enable the alpha channel and images will be used for background removal otherwise switch light AI model removes the background if you didn't do that you can actually do it here you can just tick it and uh, we're just gonna click analyze and that's it it's, it's, it's uh, nothing more and as you can see it's already been lit properly according to the background you know according to what they're gonna use it's it's very like bluish and we have like a complete blue you know light on on this right side and we have a bright white light on the left side so it's pretty it's pretty lit already you know it's, it's lit in a very specific way so uh the reason i wanted to use this footage is because this tool is really powerful uh because you know when, when it's like a neutrally lit footage it's okay to like add or reduce something but that's why i wanted to try this footage and it's pretty dark and uh, you know they have actually shot this in a very specific scenario according to what they're going to use for the background i'll show you guys once this is done i can hear the gpu uh, running there so uh, it's pretty it's pretty intense i guess and and uh, these two are like pretty much the same and we are using the virtual production plugin here it's taking around like 37 percent and the switch light studio is taking around like 60 percent so i have a rtx 3060 so basically doing the video operation yeah around like 80 percent because this is based on like hdri so i just wanted to go and try and download like a like a custom hdri or something so we can see if that works too you know polyhaven so yeah polyhaven is like a it's like basically like a hdri website and you can basically go and download let's see if they have something like indoor let's try this fireplace and they do have some kind of uh, sample hdrs to see just to like check but we'll also try using this one so guys it took around like 40 45 minutes almost uh, to actually uh, generate this to like analyze this immediately you can see certain things uh you know these edges they're like too sharp we have these other settings here so environment is where we're going to choose the uh, uh, hdri which we are going to use and uh, adjustment uh, is something that we change after we uh, choose the hdri so uh, and then we have the preview and then we have the export so you can actually export the entire scene as a png or exr it actually gets saved as different passes you can see here there's like a materials thing so it gets saved like this like the normal maps and all those things i've just uh, kept the preview as the source so this was our footage so i'm just playing this just for you guys to see and then if i go here and click render this has been completely changed and it has completely changed the relighting and matched it to the hdri behind behind the footage so now we can play this as you can see like this is this is like so much of work you know i i, I don't i don't know like how you know how how this is happening or something like that but you know like you can you can just see the uh, difference here you know it, it's completely different you know it takes out the entire right area the blue light and everything and you know it, it, it's just great and you can see all these kind of different stuff so this is the albedo uh this is the normal map this is the roughness the specular the occlusion so it generates all these things you know from from that one analysis so you can use all these things inside new to make it even more specific so that's like the really good things and if you export this it's going to export all these passes so so this is like huge actually you know the, the development on this this is going to be so helpful for you know compass so the other thing is like you can you can rotate this so let's say we have this huge blue lights or like white lights behind but if i bring that if i rotate that forward and if i bring it in front of him it's going to light him up you know this is like crazy so and then uh you can see his face is uh a little bit like shiny uh, you know our faces are not actually shiny like that but we can actually go to the adjustment here and we can actually reduce the specular so that you know we're not going to be shiny like this you know our skin are not like that 
so we reduce the specular so yeah we can increase the roughness because you know like nothing is that reflective i mean if you want to mix it a little bit we can but again it's gonna our footage is like crazy like this so choose like some other hdr so i think this is like another thing uh the reason is there's like a blue light behind it so that's why it's bringing that but yeah again it's it, this this specific thing is not accurate because it's giving like a really cyan tone but I, I don't i don't see that much cyan here studio evenly lit just like white lights so this is inside a studio and obviously we can reduce the uh, exposure and all that i mean we can adjust it accordingly try the hdra which i downloaded oh yeah okay yeah that 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 is really good that's already done like 90 percent you know whoa 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 wow it's so easy it fixes like so many issues you know and it's so so fast i mean i won't say it's actually fast it takes around like 45 minutes but it's just uh, an automated process right like you know, this, this is like really good you know this is like an outdoor again you know i mean uh it can it can be a little bit uh i don't know a little bit of a blue tone can be there i guess we are just the overall uh specular albedo if we can export these things separately we're not gonna adjust the background like a lot it's mostly like hdra based but yeah the overall generation of these passes that's so useful so this is the specular map so you know you can actually use this map to adjust the specular inside inside nuke and uh, I, I i myself have done so much of uh, relighting it, it doesn't always go by the production so sometimes they shoot it with the idea of using a different background but if they wanted to change or they wanted to change like the look entire look development changes like you know in a point so we obviously we can change the background but uh, the footage is already shot so you know it's very hard to change the colors change the lighting on it especially footage like this i just wanted to show you guys this tool and i'll also be doing uh, showing you guys other new ai tools which would be useful in vfx animation and all these industries so this is the first one switch light studio uh, i'll put the link in the description uh, you can go ahead download it and i haven't tried the plugin for unreal engine and blender yet so if you guys have time if you guys use unreal engine or blender uh, you can download the plugin but i'll definitely do a video with uh, unreal engine and how the plugin works inside unreal engine and how easy it is to do these things that's it for this uh, switch light studio and beeble huge shout out uh, really great work uh, developing this and you know in such a uh, short time i just i just recently saw this post like a few weeks back I wanted to make a video out of this because this is really really useful in, inside the studio. I hope you guys will be releasing a plugin for Nuke 2 because that is really really needed for all the compositors there. If you guys didn't know about this tool, yeah, um, this is there. They're in open beta. I think because of that, it's free to download right now. But once they release their full version, I think you might not have all the features and you might have to pay the $13 per month to get their full version but right now it's an open beta so you can use it that's it for this video i hope this was useful i'll see you guys in the next video